Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I am so like I I'm I'm about to pee myself. I'm so excited to finally start this channel. And I want to do like a partial review, partial like just get ready with me and chat. I wanted to feature the first frost quad from Tom Ford and the frost bomb. This was gifted to me by All Feisty. I cannot thank her and I know you're watching I cannot thank you enough this this means the world to me I love this this is the first frost and I fucking love it also if you don't like a lot of swearing you need to leave now you know for your sake I just wanted to do a whole look with this and just have it like a frosty wintry look and I've got some other Soleil products from Tom Ford that I'm going to be playing with as well. We're just going ahead and going into it. So I've already got my base, including my eye primer and my foundation. I will have everything linked down below as far as what I've got on my face. I've already got my brows done as well. But I want to go ahead and get my eyes done. That way I can base how the rest of my face is going to look. I'm going to start with this bottom shade down here and I will be taking that on my Sonia G Worker 3. For those who do not know, I love Sonia G brushes. I have at least one of every single one of her brushes. It's just a great experience and joy to work with her brushes. With hooded eyes and everything, I just, I was just want to enjoy the experience. I just want to have fun with makeup. That's why I was, wanted to start this channel. I wanted to have fun with makeup. I wanted to talk with people who also enjoy makeup and just have fun. There's so much stressful things in the world and makeup should not be one of them. I just really love this quad so much and a lot of websites when you look at this they have like all tom ford eyeshadows as being 10 grams that's not true depending on the formulation or depending on the pigments in them it can be eight grams it can be like this one is six grams and i think most of his wet dry formula is six grams but these are also like these tend to show up better so i can guess i can kind of be like okay you're not using as much so it's gonna last longer and like this uh, Soleil bronzer when I purchased it from Macy's and also when I saw it on Sephora it advertised it as being I think either 21 or 27 grams you only get 15 grams in this bad boy for hundred and twelve dollars and I mean luckily I got it I get everything like on sale at least I try to there is no point unless you really really want it like there's a lot of makeup I really really want but I tend to hold out and just wait for a sale because I have an issue with wanting things on sale. I can have the joy of using the makeup and knowing that I got a good deal on it. To have all of y'all who have been urging me to start my own channel, I can't thank you enough for just believing in me. After All Feisty posted her video saying that I was starting my channel, I just I was like, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it, and so here I am doing it. I'm doing this for my fiance who told me that I'm buying this stuff, I might as well talk about it, which he's not wrong at all. But I'm doing this because I don't have the best memory, and I want to remember how I was at this time, how excited I was about getting this. And I can look back and just relive that moment where I was just so excited about this and get re-inspired and just fall in love with everything all over again. Now that I have blended the ever-loving crap out of this, I'm going to go in with this pink shade and I will be doing that on this Tom Ford number 11 brush. This is the synthetic version, but this is so fucking good. And because it's so wide, you can just take these, uh, these eyeshadows and just slide it on and it's so good so I'm going to dampen this because it, this is a wet dry formula as we all know because 
It's got the big old TF on it, and I just, I love this formula. And especially with this color, this color is everything. And man, I am so happy that I got to, I say thank you again because it's already sold out on Sephora. I'm sure it's gonna go quickly on Beautylish because the balm has already sold out on Sephora and Beautylish. There's other places that you can get it. I actually kind of want to get a backup just because I love this so fucking much. It's just this icy pink that is just everything to me. But yeah, I'm just going to smooth that all over the lid. And see how big this freaking brush is? It just makes it so quick. Oh yeah. That's the good stuff. Let me go with my finger just to make sure that I got enough on there. That's what mama wanted. I wanted that pink explosion all over my face. This is so, just so wonderful. And then I'm going to take this Sonia G Smudger 1. And I just like it because it's just this little compact little rigmarole and just wiggle, wiggle, wiggle all that in there. And then I'm just going to pop that right up here. And then I'm going to pop it right in the inner corner. Same on this side. I kind of want to apologize for my brows because they have hairs growing everywhere. But at the same time, I just don't care because I've tried plucking them. And boy, that shit hurts. And I'm not about to go through pain just so other people will think I'm socially acceptable because I just don't give a fuck. And now I'm going to take this little beauty, the Refer 23, and I'm going to go into the darkest shade. And I'm just going to put this right at the base. I'm just adding a little ink to it. Just a little something something. Because I want this pink to be the main star. This is wonderful. Like, like I will be cremated with this. This, this is, this is my baby. I don't care. The whole thing could be completely empty, and I will never, never get rid of it. Okay, so that's the top half done. So let me see what I need to do to the bottom half. I'm probably gonna put that same darker brown on the lower outer third because I don't want to make this too smoky. I want this to stay icy, but I want it to be dramatic. And I'm just using that same Ref 23 which I got in the concept store. Speaking of which, their sale for the core bundle, the first five brushes in their collection. Wonderful brushes, finally got mine in. I can't wait to play with them. I know the one, two, and three, those are really, really good. Also, if you have hooded eyes, 13 and 14 are gonna be your best friends. You're gonna wanna take them to bed with you. You don't wanna live without them anymore once you realize that you know how good they are. I mean, you've got Sonya G's mini booster, and that is wonderful. But you can't work with cream products with it because it's dyed goat hair. I need to get back onto this palette because this is what we're here for. And, and the chat. I mean, like, that, that's also the thing. So I'm going to take this refer number three and I'm going to go into the pink shade. Because why not? I've been going into it all this time. And I don't want to stop. I want this all over my body. Like, look how icy it is. I'm getting a little bit of fallout right down here. I mean, you can see. So I'm just going to take this refer number 16, which is great for highlighting and everything. And I'm just going to try to dust that back up into where it came from. I guess I'm going to take this number three and go back into that icy white shade. That is everything. And pack that on even more into the inner inner corner. Okay, so I am done with this palette. Like I said, I love this palette. I am eternally grateful. I guess I'll go ahead and prime my eyes first. I have the sample of the Chanel, what are you, La Base Mascara uh, Volume and Care Primer. This shit's good though. I have really enjoyed this. And once I run out, I plan on getting some. 
more because it makes me look like I have false lashes. I have long lashes already and so lengthening mascara is like it's gonna make my lashes look long because I've got long lashes it's just darkening where it's super light. I think I lack in the volume department and so far this little brush has helped me not poke myself in the eye when I use it. And while that layer is drying I'm going to go ahead and apply my bronzer and I'm going to be taking my Tom Ford bronzer and my natural hair Tom Ford bronzer brush. This is just a nice wash of warmth. I don't want too much warmth because I want this to be frosty. I want this to be gorgeous. I mean, it could be warm and gorgeous. I just like being cool and icy. I just want to have a little bit of, you know, oops, sculpture to my face. So we have that and now I'm going to apply some highlighter and this is the Tom Ford Radiant Perfecting Powder in 01 Glit Glow. I have a Sonia G brush for this. My Sonia G Sculpt 2. I love this freaking brush and I don't want to put too much and of course there's cat hair because the cat loves to be up on my vanity which I mean I don't mind. I love my cat. It's just she can be a dick hole sometimes. I just want a nice soft glow to my face, but not my whole face because that's not what I'm going for. And I don't really contour my nose. Like, I have such a crooked nose that I just don't really contour. I have enough of a pronounced one that I think the shadow does enough contouring for me. And then I'm going to add, I'm actually going to layer a couple blushes for this effect. And for this one, I'm going to go in with the Becca Prismatic Amethyst. And this has a nice pinkish purpley hue and that definitely picked up a lot so I'm going to tap that off and go like this, highlight that. And then this is the last one, I just picked this up. I got this for like $16 brand new on Macari. I thought this would be perfect for this look. Oh god yeah that's icy, holy shit, ooh yeah. Fuck Rudolph and his red nose. Look at me with my freaking glowy nose. Holy shit. I am so fabulous. Oh my gosh. I am having so much fun. Just knowing that y'all are going to be watching this. I'm going to follow Wayne Goss's tip about, you know, applying your highlighter and then your blush. And I'm going to take the Hourglass Ethereal Glow uh, Ambient Lighting Blush. And so I'm just going to swirly dirty. And I'm just going to go over the blush, uh, the blush, the highlighter and the bronzer. And I think I dusted off too much, either that or that shit ain't even showing up on me and I have like translucent skin. I don't know if y'all watch Teresa is Dead. If you don't, what the fuck are you doing? Click off me and go fucking watch her. She's always saying that she's like uncooked chicken. I'm boiled chicken. I am just stark white. There's no coloration to me whatsoever. I have got my blush bronzer. I'm going to actually buff out the edges a little bit, a little bit like this to help it just kind of blend on the outskirts. Oh, and I forgot to put on my brow gel. And I just basically, this is the Kaja uh, brow blowout. And I don't even think they sell this anymore. But I just basically do this to add some dimension because while that the brow pencil that I used is a really good color, sometimes just the brow pencil alone just kind of makes it look flat and not defined while this adds a little bit of wetness back into it and just adds that depth. Oh, I also forgot to do my motherfucking waterline. So I'm going to tight line with this. And this is the Fenty pencil longwear pencil eyeliner and this is in big truffle and then I want to take this new Dior liner that I got and this is in satiny gold this is part of the holiday collection and I'm going to put this in my waterline it's just such a soft gold that it doesn't really stand out but it adds just a little bit of shimmer shimmer so now I need to add mascara and this is the Le Volume de Chanel mascara number 10 noir this is another volumizing product. My fiance has been giving me compliments. He's been helping me judge on if, you know, something looks good on me. He's just been such a help in improving my own makeup game. 
and then I just take this lightly on my lower lashes. Now, now that we're all done, I can get to the lips and to the balm because this balm is so pretty. So this is the Balm Frost and it is absolutely gorgeous. You can see that I've already been to town on it, but it is so fucking pretty. Shit, I love this thing. It's just so beautiful in the light. It's so beautiful on the lips. There's a little bit of glitter, but nowhere near as much as on the outside. I'm going to line my lips, and I'm going to start with the Sephora Rouge Gel Lip Liner. I love this one. Like, you don't normally see this color. This is in the color The Nudist, and it is a cool tone nude. And I'm going to fill it in. And then I'm going to take this MAC Lip Liner in Soar. And hopefully you can see the name. Hopefully you can see the color. And here's the color just on its own. Okay, so the nudist is the bottom one. And the top one is Soar from MAC. And you can see that the nudist is more creamy. And Soar is a little bit more mattifying. And I think the combination of both of those is just going to be a wonderful color. Which, I mean, I know it's a wonderful color because I've done this before. I'm a professional, damn it. Just kind of blend it in and bada bam. And it's just a nice, cool tone, rosiness. It's gorgeous. And it just adds a nice little glossy look to it. I mean, there's just a little bit of glitter. And also, when you first put it on, you rub your lips, you don't feel any glitter. And that's what I love. Companies need to put glitter in, but when you rub your lips, you don't need to feel it. You don't need to exfoliate your lips while you're trying to wear something that's supposed to be moisturizing it. I'm going to just do a little spray spray with this Smashbox Primer Water, which, I mean, I use it as a primer and finisher. To just give myself a little bit of glow. I think that's it. I thank y'all so much again for being here and for just this first rundown. Hopefully y'all enjoy it. Hopefully it was entertaining. Uh, I would hate to, you know, have y'all come watch me and be boring as fuck. Please give me some feedback if you have any constructive criticism, like your volume's too low or I should do something a certain way. Just kind of be like, hey, this wasn't the greatest. Why don't you try this instead of being like, bitch, what the fuck do you think you're doing? But again, thank you for just your time. If you enjoyed my content and want to see more, please hit the subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down, depending on whether you liked it or not. And leave me a comment down below if you've picked up, you know, the Tom Ford, you know, first frost or the frost bomb. Let me know what you think about it. I would love to see how y'all play with this, how y'all do your looks with this. I can't even imagine how gorgeous it looks on y'all if you got it. And if you don't have it and you have new dip, or you have the one from last year, let me know how you're enjoying those. I just want to keep the conversation going and just gush about the makeup that, you know, you already have, that you already love. Just, uh, you know, have fun with what you have and just know that you're beautiful with or without makeup. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.